Log in to the admin panel of your Fraser website. First, visit your website in your internet browser. At the top, where you see your website address, place your cursor at the end of the text, then type forward slash admin and hit enter. Here is where you will enter your login information. Type your email address, then password, and click login. To create a new obituary, click the Add New Obituary button. Type the deceased's first name, middle name, and last name. Select their gender and enter their birth date and death date. Select the serving location from the drop-down list. Upload a photo by clicking on the blank image, then select Upload Photo from your computer. Navigate to the file on your computer and click Open. Drag and scale the box to crop the image, then select OK. If you do not have an image, you can select from our library of stock photos by clicking Use an image from our library. Select the image you wish to use, then click OK. Change the photo at any time by clicking Delete photo, then selecting a new image. You may select from over 500 header themes by clicking the Header Theme link. Select a category from the drop-down, then select the name of the theme to view a preview. Click Save to commit the change. Under the Obituary section, you can enter the written obituary for your tribute. Most users will simply copy and paste the obituary from a Word document or other word processor file. Open your document, select the text, hold Control, then press C on your keyboard to copy the text. Switch back to your browser, click into the obituary text box, hold Control, and then press V to paste the text. Enter all of the tribute's event information under Obituary and Event Information. First, select the event type and serving location. You can add a new serving location directly from this drop-down menu. For more information, please see our separate tutorial video on how to add locations. Enter the date, start time, and end time, and enter additional event information in the box. Click the Add Event button to see the event added to the list. Repeat the steps for each additional event, making sure to click Add Event each time. After an event has been added, you can edit or delete the event from the list of saved events. If you select No Events, you will be given the option to select a reason, which will be displayed on that tribute's celebration wall. Create a custom reason by clicking Add Edit Event Status. Select the cemetery location from the drop-down menu. Under Memorial Contributions, you can input information for charitable donation requests. Select the organization from the drop-down menu. You can add a new location directly from this menu by clicking Add Location, just as you would a serving or event location. Input any additional information about the contribution and click Add Contribution. Repeat these steps for any additional memorial contribution locations. Under Photos, you may upload any family pictures to an album to showcase on the celebration wall of your tribute. Under Associated Files, you can paste links to an online video tribute and webcast. If your tribute store is activated, the Family Address section is where you may enter an address for floral store orders to be shipped in case the florist is unable to deliver an order to the service. This information is never displayed publicly. It is highly recommended that you provide this address to avoid any complications with your Sympathy Flower orders. Make sure to click Save Obituary at the bottom to commit your changes and publish your obituary to the website. You will be returned to the obituary list and see a green text notification indicating your new obituary has been published. To make changes to an existing obituary, click on the name of the tribute and make the necessary edits. Please note that the only required information in order to publish your obituary is the tribute's first name, last name, birth date, 
death date, and serving location.